Hey my friends, that's your huge chance to start with 3D printing and to celebrate. Not me, I'm already celebrating a new studio and a new YouTube channel and you can celebrate too. Anycubic's 10th anniversary, they announce a huge giveaway and what they are giving away are 10 of these units. That's the Anycubic Cobra S1 combo with the Ace Pro and with this 3D printing combo you can print up to 8 colors. I already have one so I can celebrate and if you want one as well just head over to their website, subscribe to their newsletter and if you are already a maker, a creative and you have 3D printing files load them up to the Maker Online on Anycubic and you are already in the pool to win one of these units and my job is to show you how easy it can be to print with the combo even if you are a beginner. So let's tackle our first project and imagine you are one of the winners of Anycubic's 10th anniversary and you get some of these filament spools or maybe the Anycubic Cobra has one as well. You need a place to store your filament and what I like to do is a filament holder for my pegboard. That's a super easy beginner project and if you are a beginner you need also a cool studio. So let's head up to the printer and let me show you how to create something like that. Super easy. Monotone 3D printing is over. Let's do it multicolor with the Ace Pro. And the cool thing about the Ace Pro is it's not only a multicolor unit, it's also a filament dryer. So you don't need one of these extra dryers. You can store your filament in the Ace Pro. You can dry it even through the printing process. And it's super easy. Just put it in and the Ace Pro feeds it automatically. Filament's loaded and now let's activate the drying process. So just click on filament on the Cobra S1 and here you can find the dryer. Here you can set the temperature, let's say 50 degree. Here you can set the time, let's say 4 hours. Then activate the dryer and we are good to go. So let's give the filament some drying time and in the meantime I can create the data for the brackets of the spool holder. And I'm a huge fan of 3D construction. I do most of my constructions in Fusion 360. But don't panic if you are a newbie. I will upload my files to the Maker Online on the Anycubic website because I hope to win some filament for my next project as well. So I will do it exactly here. And if you want to upload your files just write a comment choose the files you like to upload and submit your files and maybe you have the chance to win a Cobra S1 combo, some filament or some gift cards. I hope for me that I win some filaments. And yeah, if you want, check the video description for the link to my files if you want to print the spool holder as well, maybe on your new Cobra S1. Yeah, single color printing is so yesterday and that's exactly the reason why you need an Ace Pro to do multicolor printing. And I printed one of the brackets I like to create for my pegboard. And as you can see, it's multicolored. The middle is gray, but the sides are black and that looks much cooler than only one gray color. And it fits perfect to the pegboard. I did a little test. And uh, now let me show you how to arrange the data in the Anycubic Slicer next. So you can do the multicolor print as well. But let's start at the printer and the Ace Pro and as you could see I loaded three rolls of filament. The first one, number one is gray, number two is black, number three is white. That's what we have to keep in mind. And then check out the print menu, click again on filament. And here we can do all the filament settings. You have four rolls of filament in the Ace Pro. That's the first Ace. You can connect two Aces to the printer to print eight rolls of color. But I have only one, so I have four rolls of filament and just click on the first one and here you can set the type of filament. My one is PET G. So I click OK and you can choose a color and I choose gray. Click again OK and I have to do that for the other rolls as well. And that's all we have to do. Now let's change to the slicer. And here we are on the Anycubic slicer next. So let me give you a quick overview and you can see different models which are in the Maker Online I talked earlier. Uh, you can download them, print them yourself if you have no ability to create your own models. And that's exactly where I will upload my model as well to have the chance to win some filament or a gift card. And if you are a maker, if you have models, upload them to the Maker Online and you get the chance to win an Anycubic Cobra S1 combo filaments or the gift cards as well. And in the top menu, you can see my models I did earlier. 
But before we check out the models, we have to head to the top menu to Workbench, because if you are new to the slicer, you have to install your printer and that's exactly where you can do it. So click on Add Printer and here you can connect your printer via CN code or via IP. And I did a separate video about the AnyQB Cobra S1 where I installed it. It's super detailed and I will link it in the video description if you have to connect your printer as well. Check this video. And my one is already installed. You can see it here in the menu LAN printer and it's free. That means I can print on this printer. So we are ready to go. So click on prepare on the top menu. And now you can see the print bed and maybe that's familiar for you if you have done already some 3D printing. And in the top menu, there's this cube with the plus symbol. Click on the cube and now you can insert some files. And I will add my bracket. And as you can see, it's completely gray. And as talked earlier, I like to do a multicolor print. So let's head to the left menu. And here you can see all the filaments installed to the printer. And if you like to change them, click on the arrow left beside the name and you can choose another filament if another filament is installed in your printer and you can add filaments you can remove filaments and you can do some settings in the preset but i highly recommend don't do it if you are a newbie and if you use original any cubic filament because it's super difficult to find the right settings if you don't know what you're doing i changed the flow and also the print temperature of one of my filaments but i have some experience so let's close that for now if you are a newbie. And yeah, what's very important is the layer height. So in the left menu, you can find the point quality and the first point in quality is the layer height. And by default, it's set by 0.2. So one layer is 0.2 millimeter. Keep that in mind. And now let's head again to the upper menu. And in the upper menu, there's this bucket with a drop. drop. It's called color painting or you can press N on the keyboard. So click on color painting and now we can set the color we like. And here you can see all the filaments in the printer and I've chosen black because I like to do some areas black and underneath there are different tools and I selected the layer, the height range because I like to change some layers in a different color and the height range is the tool I need. And here you can see that I've set the height range to 0.4 and that means two layers will be printed in black. And I like to color two top and two bottom layers. So let's do it. And it's super simple. The only thing I have to do is I have to click on the top layer. And here I can set two layers to black. Click again. And that's all we have to do. And now let's do the bottom as well. It's super simple. And these white stripes show exactly the layers which will be changed. So I have two layers in black on the bottom and two layers in black on the top. And that's exactly what I want. And yeah, that's all we have to do. And now we can click on slice. But before we can click on slice, let's check the strength because there's something we can uh, change. I like to print uh, four top layers and also four bottom layers. And I like to change the infill to 20%. It's already changed as you can see. And here you can change the infill pattern, but it's also a little bit advanced. If you are a newbie, just leave it uh, by grid. That's good enough. And now let's slice the plate. And as you can see, we have a multicolored tool. And now it's also super simple because all I have to do is I have to click on remote print in the upper right corner. And here we are. And now I can choose the filament I like to print. And I can activate also bed leveling if I like, and also the flow calibration. And underneath there are drying options and it's super cool because you can dry even your filament when you are printing. So you can print while drying, you can set the temperature and the time. And yeah, that guarantees a super dry filament and that's important for a perfect print. And all we have to do is we have to start print.
Yeah, I got them three brackets, two for the sides with a closed hole and one with an open hole for the middle. That's the difference, closed, open. And now I need two wooden dowels with 16 millimeter diameter. Yes, they are beech wood, so we have to make it quick and dirty. We need a big marker and let's give them a quick stain in black. That looks much better. And when they are stained, let's put the spool holder on the wall. Mounting these brackets is super simple because it's a press fit. Just press the dowels in these brackets and we can hang it on the wall. And that's the reason why I close these holes. It looks much cooler and it's much easier to mount. Yeah, just hang it and we are done. Like so. And now I could, uh, can put all my filament spools on the spool holder. And that looks so cool in the studio. What do you think? I wish you luck. Let me know in the comments if you have won one of these Cobra S1 combos. Check out the Anycubic website. Thanks Anycubic for the raffle and for all these giveaways. See you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>